Hello everyone, here is how to unlock the Siege Turtle in Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons. First of all, unlock the collection Stomping Around by obtaining the legendary Turtle Egg. There are two ways to do this. The first is by completing the Dragon's End meta event, or you can purchase it from the Peddler in Dragon's End just south of Jade Quarry Waypoint with 200 writs of Dragon's End. You get these writs by doing events in Dragon's End, so if you're having problems completing the meta event, don't worry. 200 writs doesn't take very long, and you can start the collection in no time. If you do want to beat the meta, then you're welcome to join the kills that my guild Hardstuck runs. We slay the beast regularly on both EU and NA servers, beating it extremely consistently, and usually multiple times a day, sometimes on multiple maps at the same time. As previously mentioned, the collection is called Stomping Around, so you can search for that in the Achievement section of your hero panel, and then use that to track your progress through the whole process. Next, talk to Rota in Arborstone. Arborstone is unlocked by completing the 8th chapter of the End of Dragon story, although by the time you start the collection, you'll almost certainly have Arborstone unlocked, as you'll encounter Dragon's End after Arborstone. The first two sub-collections for the Siege Turtle are extremely simple, as you can just purchase the required items, which is very convenient, isn't it? The first sub-collection is called Starting Small. To complete it requires 250 kale leaves, 150 carrots, 250 heads of lettuce, and 250 strawberries. After you've got those, talk to Fidget, who is right next to Rota in Arborstone, and then simply trade in your cooking materials to complete the collection. The next part, Getting Stronger, is exactly the same as the previous, except it's fish-themed. You'll need 100 fine fish fillets, 50 fabulous fish fillets, 10 flavorful fish fillets, and finally, 5 fantastic fish fillets. Yes, that's how we pronounce fillet in England, by the way. After you've got the fish, do the exact same thing as before, and hand them over to Fidget, which will complete the collection. All of the items required for both of those first two collections can simply be bought from the trading post. You could farm them if you want, but it will be much faster just to farm the gold and then buy them, as they aren't too expensive. After that is sorted, it's on to the meatiest collection, Suiting Up. It involves creating a saddle for your turtle and will require completing a bunch of heart quests and events across Cantha and even a strike mission. First up are some Luxon tools. You get these from the Void Corrupted Jade Moor in Dragon's End. This event spawns at 5 minutes and 45 minutes past the hour when the battle for the Jade Sea is not running. In other words, every other hour. Kill all the monsters, pick up reflecting crystals, and stand in the deadly green goop while holding a crystal to charge them before throwing them at the moor using the second skill of the crystals. Get the moor to 10% and it will one-shot everyone not holding a crystal, and you'll win! The turret plans are from Elora in New Kaineng City. To purchase them, you'll need to complete the heart quest by defeating Jade bots and testing your own bot on the tech nearby. Very straightforward, nothing crazy. To get the turret power unit, you'll need to take down Renyak in Saitung Province. He's the final boss of the meta event there. The event starts at half past the hour every two hours. A really useful tool for tracking meta events is the Guild Wars 2 wiki. It has a page that tracks everything and will automatically localize to your time zone, which is great not only for this collection, but keeping track of all open world content in the game. Nice! The page also shows a chat code that when spoken in game will link the nearest waypoint for every event, which makes it really easy to locate stuff. Clicking on links like these in the game will pan your map to what they link to, even if you haven't discovered it yet. I've also listed the nearest waypoint or point of interest to every step in this collection in the description of the video and the pinned comment for your convenience. Next up is Aliola Oil. This is obtained from a dynamic event in the south of the Echovald Wilds, right next to the Forever Tree, which is here. It's a very straightforward event, so blast it and then get the oil. The Mighty Leviathans are your next target. You can find one in one of two places, Saitong Harbor and New Kaineng City Docks. You may well encounter these just randomly wandering around the world, but if the beast is not lurking in the depths, then look for a Lagos named Fard El Ashadi. Talking to him will allow you to start the event. You can find him at these locations. Despite its fearsome size, the Leviathan shouldn't pose too much of a threat, as the timer is pretty generous, but just in case, this is how it works. It's an underwater encounter, so make sure that you have an underwater weapon, and it also has a large damage reduction buff that can be removed by dropping depth charges on it. These are from the second Skiff Mastery. The Leviathan will also suck players into its stomach where you can attack it from within to stun it and trigger a burn phase. Get some players on boats bombing the beast, and get your incredible deluxe leather seating. 
Getting the thruster plans involves completing another heart quest, this time in the north of the Echavald Wilds. Get a disguise from the heart NPC and be really annoying for the Jade Brotherhood, and you'll get the plans in no time. As a quick tip, just interact with everything you can to progress the heart. Try to avoid doing it in front of the Brotherhood characters, but it doesn't matter much. After the heart is completed, talk to the Tengu spy responsible for giving you the heart quest to purchase the plans. The penultimate piece of the puzzle is the Thruster Control Unit. To grab this, you'll need to beat the Kaineng Overlook Strike Mission, which is a 10-player boss encounter, so get a team together and get in there. It's a solid challenge, so be prepared for a fight. After that, it's back to Fidget to get the saddle color selection. For this, you need 25 unidentified dies, which you can just buy from the trading post. And after that, you're done! The turtle is yours! Time to grind out the experience to master piloting your new combat mount. For a final piece of advice, notice that the turret plans, thruster plans, thruster control unit, and saddle color selection are all obtainable whenever you want, whereas you'll have to wait for events for the others. This means you can just grab these ones first or in between events for bonus efficiency. Either way, the collection isn't super long, but time is money. Thanks for watching. Follow me everywhere, ask questions if you have any, and I'll see you next time.